This is Dabu7 with an amazing connection here between Comet Ison in the Mayan calendar. Yes, the Mayan calendar, one of which many people dropped December 22nd, 2012 because the end of the world didn't come. Because many of them bought into the Hollywood lie, one of which was exactly that, a lie. Here, Dabu7's channel, we never did. We didn't promote it uh, because it never added up. What we find now is that they were basing this whole thing off the long count calendar to come up with December 21st, 2012. Well, there's other calendars involved here that are important. One being the divine calendar. Now, you want to look for all of these calendars to come down to an end date. And the end date for the Zulkin comes down to the 13th of Ajal. Okay? 13th Ajal is when it all comes to a close. You see right here, that date comes out to be December 16th, 2013. This exact date. Now, we wouldn't start, and we don't in the Gregorian calendar, we don't start counting from the year zero. That isn't how it works, right? That's not how it works. So why would we do the same thing to the mind calendar? Well, they also had the aspect of uh, how everything used to be based off of 360 day cycle instead of the 365 like we do now thus putting it back a year well this guy had his uh, callman here had his own theories too and he had put it at the 13th how closest to December 21st 2012 and he picked that to be 2011 and he was wrong but he did have the ending date of the Zulkan right in being the 13th of Jaw here or however you want to pronounce it. This is where it all starts to get very, very interesting, folks. The numbers are just crazy. Now, you want to look for these wheels to lock up, like, you know, a jackpot reel at the casino. You want all of them to be in their final phase. They all come to this on December 16th, 2013, in their final phase. Here's a full breakdown where you can see Obviously, how I just showed you, they use the 1320 sync in the Zulkin calendar, and this breaks down to one back tone being 144,000 days. Where have you seen that number before? Okay, and as you can see here, it's all broken down, and you can do the math yourself as they all complete the Unals, the Tunes, the Katoons, and the Patoons all on this exact date. And for that to happen, it falls December 16th, 2013. Okay, now is this going to be the end of the world, Armageddon? Is that what I'm saying? No, it is not. I'm just simply telling you that this is the real time frame here when the Zulkin comes to an end and the long count is already at its end spot in the 13th Bakhtan. Okay, which like I said before, we didn't, we, we don't count the year zero. So that is what they initially were messing up there, the discrepancy of one year. So if you want to push it back to 2013, um, everything aligns perfect on December 16th because it falls right on this day where the Zulkin has to end. Now, now that I've got that out there about the Mayan calendar and it, the, the Zulkin ending here on December 16th on this date, so what's the significance? I can't tell you that. I don't know exactly what will happen on this planet on that day but I can tell you what's going to happen in the heavens and it's amazing to me share this information with everyone that you know that's in to following Comet Ison and wants to know the real deal scoop with it here now coming out of its perihelion off the JPL we're going to come strolling on up to December 8th where it's .666 AU from Earth and we're going to keep on trucking up and we're going to come to the 16th do you see what I see? I see an almost perfect triangle. Almost perfect trinity. So, when I was first looking at this, I accidentally clicked forward twice. I came to the 18th to see uh, and seen that this there's a 488 here and a point seven seven seven. So, it caught my eye. Triple sevens there. Because I was thinking jackpot with all these wheels aligning everything lining up and then that popped up so it stuck in my head I said December 18th hmm the 48 and the 77 so I go looking at the other interactive maps and I come to December 16th 
not the 18th, December 16th, the day that we are looking for, the end of this calendar. And just like I seen off the JPL on the 16th, I seen a perfect triangle. This is where it gets mind blowing, folks. And you tell me, what are the odds? I see Earth, and this is the 16th, not the 18th. JPL has the 18th, the 16th, 48 and 7 7. Show you one more time. 48 and 7 7. It caught my eye. I'm throwing it out there. I'm like, wow, man, that is almost like a perfect triangle. And then, then it hits me. This is the sign that will be formed in the heavens. And it blew me away. Did you see that? 48.77. You see that distance? You see where everything's at situated here from Comet Ison around the sun? Watch this. The exact same distance to a T. And it only happens December 16th, 2013, the day of the end of the Zulkin Mayan calendar. My jaw is on the floor. I still can't believe it. I want to share it with you guys. Whether it's coincidence or what, there's going to be a sign, a trinity at that, in the heavens between Venus, the Zion, this comet Ison, and Earth. On this day, the end of the Zulkin calendar, what are the odds of that? I will leave links to all of this, folks. Till next time, this has been Dabu7, Eyes to the Skies.